Hey y'all, it's me. Well, I got a couple of things to talk to y'all about. One is that the yarn that I got last time from Premier, I'm swapping with someone else. She's sending me some yarn. I'm sending her this yarn and maybe a little extra. I don't know yet. Uh, more than likely. But anywho, I've got my little things ready for the winners of the Christmas and July fairies. I found some cute, cute, cute stuff to give out. Um, it's not much. And it all fits in one little envelope, but it's cute. So whoever wins it, I hope will be happy with it. Because if you're not, oh, well, I'm so sorry. I did try. But anywho, I want to let y'all know how my day last Wednesday went. Now, y'all see I've got my under the sea glow going here. I decided to come up with a theme this week and, I mean, this time and just do a all green and blues so it looks like I'm under the sea. Yeah, I'm going to try. I'm going to keep trying until I find the right combo. Anywho, Saturday, last Wednesday, of course, you know, the house cleaner comes, so I have to clean up everything before she gets here. So my sister is texting me. Now, get this now. She's on vacation. She's away from the house. She is nowhere to be found. She is like in relaxed mode, which is good for her and good for me because she's relaxed. And she's away from here. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I like it when she's here. But um, she starts texting me. I need you to go to the donut shop and pick up some dog food. I'm like, okay, well, all right. I guess I can do that. So, And then she just keeps on talking. I hate it when she does that. Okay, you've told me what you wanted. I've said yes. Stop talking. Because all she does is start throwing in odds and ends that mean nothing so I'm like oh, here she goes again so she keeps on texting and everything and she repeats herself about the dog food I'm like okay 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 well she says I didn't text her back to say okay so she didn't know if I understood or not um yeah I, I understood I just didn't feel like texting you back right then <laughs> I know I'm so mean but anywho so I get, I wait till Lupe gets here and she's, you know, starts cleaning. I tell her I got to run out to the donut store to get some dog food. And she kind of looks at me funny. I'm like, yeah, I know. I don't understand it either, but I will by the time I get there. So I'm, I'm bebop on out of here and I'm, you know, not thinking about a thing. Obviously I wasn't because I went out with my hair all well, you know, I did tell you I was going to do that. So I get in the, the car and I drive up to the donut shop and I get out. People are looking at me. I'm like, okay, well, I must be looking really good today. <laughs> well, I got those steps and so open the door and they all look at me. And then they all suddenly turn away like they didn't see what they thought they saw. And I thought about it for a minute. I'm like, got something on me and I thought oh my gosh it's my hair they were freaking out over my hair I'm like oh my gosh that's hilarious so I sit there and I tell them this is for YouTube I had I had promised my subscribers once I got to a thousand I would do my hair different colors and different designs and stuff like that all through the month and they were like, oh, okay, that makes sense. And um, they said, well, how many did you get? I said, I've only got a 1,000. And they were like, oh, okay, cool. And so I got the dog food. And, of course, you know, hello, I'm at the donut store. I get some donuts. I, I figure I get some for me and some for the cleaning lady so that she can have some later because she's got a doctor's appointment she's leaving straight here from to go directly to. And she won't have time to eat. So um, I figured it might give her a little burst of energy or something. So I leave there and I figure, oh, you know, I got to pick up a couple of things at the uh, Family Dollar store. I love some Family Dollar and Dollar Tree and Fam Dollar General. I mean, the, the, anything that has dollar in the name, apparently I am like moth to the flame. So I go in and I'm like looking around and I, you know, I see a couple of, and I have forgotten from the time from leaving the donut shop to getting to Family Dollar, I completely forgotten about my hair. It happens all the time. So I'm walking around and people are kind of looking at me and I'm like, what? And then I walk to the frozen section and 
you know how they have those glass doors and everything, and I can see the rainbow happening in the glass. <laughs> I'm dying by this time. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, apparently they've never seen people with their hair color, different colors like this. I'm thinking, yeah, they have, they have to. I mean, because their, their colors are purple, and I've seen people walk around with purple in their hair during football season, so it can't be that far off. So, I get to thinking about it. I'm like, well, maybe it's just because it's such an old woman that's doing it. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> that's the thing. I really don't. And, of course, my sister comes inside and sees my pretty little blanket that's back here. And says, oh, that's so gorgeous. I want it. No. No. I'll make you one. But I'm not giving this one up because this one's mine. I made this specifically for my chair. So I will make you one, but I'm not giving this one up. Although if the second one looks better than this one, who knows, I might. Um, although I know I'm not going to do the stitching the same as I did the last time. I'm going to try to do it a little differently. Um, It, yeah, it's going to be stitched together, hand, you know, lots of different colors together kind of thing. So, I mean, that may slow me down. It may not. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But having, like, the pale show through the dark is, is kind of bugging me. <laughs> not enough to tear it out yet. But it's getting there. <laughs> I know that's horrible that I feel that way, but I look at it and I see it and I'm like, uh. so what I may do is do another one, give her this one because it won't be in my view anymore. And then I keep the one that I did a little bit different. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I want to do this in different colors, but I can't quite figure out the color scheme that I want to do because um, this one just works so well but I've seen other blankets done with different colors that look really pretty too so I'm, I'm kind of experimenting with maybe just making it solid colors and then making it uh, uh, variegated colors you know that kind of thing I don't know I want to make one like all variegated and then one all solid colors so i'm i'm looking into what i can do with that so wish me luck most of this is made with Hershner's yarn um their worst uh, their eight worst to date or whatever that that's what i made this with this color this color this color this color, the brown, all that is Hershner's worst to date. I had the maroon and I had the black, and that's all I had. Everything else came from Hershner's. <laughs> and it didn't take as much as it said it was going to because it said like one, two balls and three balls. And stuff. It didn't take that much. <laughs> I don't know whether it's because I, I crochet small or whether I crochet really tight or what. But it didn't take as much yarn, so it still looks good to me, so I'm all down for it. Start working on the butterfly. It's looking okay. <laughs> I'm just so nervous about it, but I shouldn't be. But if I only figured out how to read the pattern, that took forever. Because I don't know if you guys noticed it. It was just a graph. That's the pattern. That graph is the pattern. And it's the way you read the pattern that makes it come out the size that it needs to. So it's kind of like bizarre the way that you have to read. But it's, once you get it, you get it. But it takes a bit to get it because it takes a while for your mind to work around what they're saying. So, And I have to keep checking. <laughs> but that's just me. Um I don't know if I've ever told you, but I sleep with a CPAP. So every once in a while, I'll get these really bad areas of uh, dry skin. And it's horrible. 
It's horrible. Horrible. So I have to put lotion on it so it makes it stand out even more. <laughs> I just thought I'd warn y'all. <laughs> Um, but I don't get it every time. I just get it sometimes, and it just it's irritating that it just does it every once in a while. I've been watching a lot of videos. Uh, um, yeah, I've been trying to keep off of the other stuff. <laughs> just focus on the fun stuff lately. So that's what I've been doing. I've been focusing on the fun stuff. And you see my little postcard. Put it up. <laughs> Um, I think that's about it, y'all. I wasn't going to stay on long for long. Just wanted to give y'all a quick update, say hello, and um, to correct myself, that's a Mary Maxim pattern. This is a Mary Maxim pattern. East Hershner's yarn on a Mary Maxim pattern. But that's what it is. It's a Mary Maxim. And it's fun pattern to do, by the way, because... You sit there and you do all these little squares and then you piece it together. And the squares ain't nothing but a thing. They don't take no time. It's the piece them together <laughs> that gets you every time. <laughs> what can I say? It took a while for me to understand the pattern. I have a issue, an issue with patterns like that. I don't know why, but every once in a while I can work them out, figure it out, and, you know, go here and there and do it. But sometimes I just can't. Oh, yeah. One other thing I forget before I forget again. The winners of my drawing will also get stitch markers I made. They aren't the best in the world, but they are little stitch markers, so you'll have fun with them. Um, yeah, I don't care if you show them. But they're not the best, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> they're cute, but they're not great. And some of them are kind of heavy, so sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put a little pouch in each winter's thing and send it home. So y'all will have some of that. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. I'm rocking this beautiful... See, this doesn't look green, but it is. It's a, it's a light puce green, actually. But it kind of blends in with the other dark green up here and the blues. Two different color blues. Yeah. <laughs> looks like a street. My hair. I don't care. It looks good. I'm liking it. And y'all are giving me so much positive feedback. <laughs> I like it. Actually, I just kind of like the hair because it's different. Every once in a while, you want different. Because, like, for the last, I don't know, four or five days, I've been in a funk because the weather's been overcast. It, I just haven't felt right. I've been dealing with a blistering headache. So, I mean, it's just kind of one of those things. I thought I was going to get a migraine, but I held it off. Because it's either a cluster headache or migraine headache when I start getting those kind of headaches. And that's bad. Because the cluster headache, you end up taking four different medications to get rid of. It takes all four. Because it's one type of headache hooked on another type, hooked on another type, hooked on another type. You have several different headaches together. That's why they call it a cluster. I call it something else, but it's not polite. But anyway, I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all have a great day and enjoy yourselves. And I will talk to y'all later. Have fun. And, oh, yeah, have a blessed week. Bye.